All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS animation by building a Ferris wheel. Step four. So now we're gonna set the position property of the wheel selector to absolute, and we'll also set the height and width both to 55 viewport width. All right. So we'll start by position. We'll do colon slat, colon space semicolon, then we'll do height. That's not height. Height like that, colon space semicolon, then we'll also do width of colon space semicolon like that. All right. So as for the position, we'll say absolute like that, like that. There we go. Then we'll do height is 55 viewport width, and then we'll do width is now 55 viewport width. Why isn't the height viewport height? Well, I guess let's see what happens if we do height. That's not height. That's not height. There we go. Same thing. Oh, no, nope, no, nope. it's a little bit smaller when we do width. All right, so let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step five and we'll see you next time.